Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to RimWorld. So, um, I don't have a whole lot of plans for today going in, actually. Um, my notes say technological plus amalgam. I'm assuming that means bees. And it also says trees? And that's not super helpful. I assume that means that I should plant a tree. Um, I do know from these notes that I want to get on the technological and amalgam bees hybridizing. I think that I have the technological going in here. Someone must be carrying it because I can't find it. I don't know where it went, so I'm hoping it shows back up because I can see at the end of the last episode that I selected it to be installed and now I don't know where it is. So I'm hoping that once everyone starts moving here... Oh, here you are. You've got the bee. Okay, good. So I want technological and then amalgam. I think I actually have to pull the amalgam drone out of here. So go ahead and carry that because who's in here? Temperate. Yeah, I don't want that. Yeah, and that's all I have. So unfortunately, we got to pop this bee out. Then this one needs the amalgam drone, and then this one can have the temperate drone for absolutely no reason whatsoever. I don't, I don't think it produces anything, but it's okay. And I want some amalgam queens, so I want that to go. Okay, yep, and then I need one more brood chamber. Do I have the materials to make it? I do not. Oh, I do. I do, just barely. Okay. And I am going to actually make our apiary look a little nicer at some point. Um, if you could go ahead and believe that, that would be fantastic. So, do I want to try planting trees? I've had terrible luck with this in the past. Just terrible luck, because I get them, and then raiders show up and then immediately burn them. I could try again. New lovers. Ex courted Eden by lauding her broad-mindedness. Well. Very nice. Can I make you a bet out of anything, like, more pleasant than, like, stone? I really can't, unfortunately. Um... Max, yeah, these take 85. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Cancel. Come back. Um. Why are there plans out here now? Stop it. Okay, so, yeah, the only thing... I can make it out of steel or I can make it out of stone. Neither of which are fantastic, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but we will get that fixed at some point in the near future. So let's just build that bed and then we'll put you in there. Let me add this to my notes. X and Eden. I actually have a separate area in my OneNote page where I keep track of who is in a relationship with who. Just because it makes life so much easier. And do you have all these bees taken care of? Can you deal with these, please? I think they're all waiting for bees. Yeah. Eden, what are you up to? You're cleaning vomit. <sighs> Who's my social person? Yeah, my warden. Yeah. Eden, can you actually come please take care of these bees? Is what I'd prefer that you do. Cleaning up vomit is nice. And yes, by the way, it is incredibly tragic that I let that other person go. So, I'm pretty sad about it. Okay, so temperate drone, hybrid queen, hybrid drone, mountain queen. And if you could please haul that queen because we don't want them sitting around. Right. Great. I don't think these two produce any more combinations, but um, I'll deal with that in a little bit. I promise. Thank you for carrying those around. I greatly appreciate it. Would you care to haul all this food inside? Oh, you're already doing that. Phenomenal. Thank you. We're actually not doing that great on raw food. I may want to go after some of the wildlife again. A hydra? No, we don't have a hydra yet. 10% chance on taming fail, though. I don't know. Actually, have we come across this particular hybrid? I don't think we have. The Lernian Hydra is a serpentine water monster in Greek and Roman mythology. Its lake was the Lake of Lerna in the Argolid, hence its name. Produces virulently poisonous breath and blood and impressive regenerative abilities. Interesting. 10% chance on fail. 98%. How about I wait for an inspiration? <laughs> we may not even get one. Wild Pawn? What are you? A variant of the wild pods that have adapted to life outside of swamps. They're much less dangerous. Huh. Okay. Well, it's really not worth hunting, you guys, to be honest. It's really not. So. We'll just grow some food. We'll be, we'll be okay. I think. Probably. Maybe. I'm so upset that I let that guy that we rescued go. Like, I'm mad about that. Oh, Kit, sure up. Can you make this bed first, please? Thank you. Both goods traders come to join us. Okay. I don't have any drugs to sell you yet, and I don't have a lot of money. And by a lot of money, I mean 200, <laughs> which is not great. But it is something. 
Come on, guys, hurry up. And by guys, I mean Kitch. Thank you, Kitch. Excellent quality. Very nice. Let's go ahead and plunk that up here. Um, what's the art? The Miner's Celebrity Rin, if you squint your eyes. Yep, okay, uh, that's pretty cool. And I could build some um, uh, bed tables and stuff like that if I really felt like it. And I might. We'll have to see. Okay, and then you go trade at these guys. Because, again, you're my only social person. You're and, and you're not social. You're not social at all. And this needs to be X and Eden, correct? Yep. X and Eden. Perfect. And that gives me some free beds, too. Yes. Very good. Okay. Alright, so... Man, nothing we can really trade with them. I may actually... I don't let you think about this, too. I may actually bend the rules just a little bit and, um... Animal needs treatment. Oh, what are you attacking? You're attacking a wild pawn? Well, you kicked its ass. Um, to sell the things that I wouldn't actually, um... Like, be able to get rid of otherwise without, like, just putting in a giant pile and burning. Like, really low-quality weapons and stuff. So, we'll have to see. Um, this turret should actually probably be down here, so it gets a better line of fire. And we need a wall, so that when it explodes, it doesn't explode and kill our people. Yes, Waffle will be fine. Okay, fire foam is done. Alright, so now, let's see here. Let's learn how to make Wake Up. And actually, I need to get quite a bit more, um... Drugs going here. Yeah, we need psychoid. We need. Um. Oh my gosh, look at all this. I can grow mushrooms. Oh, of course. Oh. Oh, this. This is great. This is really good. But first, we need some psychite. Um. I'm probably going to need to wall an area in. But let's go ahead and let's just get a growing zone going. It's going to be, like, over here or something like that. Just whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, we don't need hops because we're going to be making beer. I'm sorry, we're not making beer, we're making mead instead. So, that's kind of the plan. Kitch is putting in some flooring because Kitch is great. I'm not really sure that my animal needed, uh... Let's see here. Dr. Care, herb medicine. We don't have a whole lot of medicine, so... See, X is our grower and is not yet at 8, so I need to be careful with that. <laughs> yeah, resistance is going down really, really slowly, but there's not a whole lot I can do about it. I mean, you're in a good mood. So, we'll do our best. It's just that our person who is trying to recruit you is really, really bad at their job. So, alas, here we are. Like, I seriously need some of you people to get things done. It's nice that you're visiting this grave, but can you, like move some of these things around? Like, these are important. Like, this really matters. We need to get our bees going. Okay, so long, Trade Caravan. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thank you. And as soon as our grower gets around to getting the side guy going, that would be nice. Our grower seems pretty busy, so that's understandable. Yeah, we know a bio-interface components. Yay! Which, I understand we need for much later stuff, but at the moment, we have no particular use for it. A meteorite? Strange, shiny material, huh? What are you? Uh, let's mine a quarter of it. 4,500? This isn't going to be like Karstina, I hope. We'll try to mine a corner of it, we'll see what happens. Good, Waffle's back up on her feet. Excellent. Well done. And you're fetching some mushroom stocks that I asked you to go get. That's nice. See, I think if we do things like plant trees outside and then delete the zone, the raiders will typically leave them alone. And they're going to have a hard time burning them anyway. So, yeah. I need more growers. Who can do some backup growing here? Um, Dakota, to be honest would actually be a good backup grower. I mean, four is pretty bad, but at least you have a single fire for it. So that's better than nothing, you know. Okay, let's see what Dakota gets out of this. Okay, what are you carrying? You're carrying... Oh, Sky Steel. Okay. 
I didn't really utilize Sky Steel last time. Um, just somehow, I don't know. I never got around to it. I didn't realize that was from um, the Alpha Biome Project, though. I thought that was from something different. That's interesting. Okay. Let's take this stupid shelf, by the way. And let's use it for beeswax. All of them. And then, let's reinstall it outside, because we don't... Oops. That's not what I meant to hit. Ah, stop it. There. Jeez. Alright, just go ahead and put it down there. And, oh yeah, we need to break down these hives. Temperate hive, mild hive. Do forever. Do forever. Yep. Because we got some hives from breaking things down. Maybe we should consider selling bees. That might not be a bad idea. And is this holding our psychite? Because it should, and it does not look like it is. Yep, that should be inside. So it stays frozen. Okay, good. Yeah, we gotta deal with some of this crap. This is this is building up, unfortunately. Alright, wake up is done. Excellent. Um and let's go ahead. I think I think it's go juice that requires um Nutraamine, which we can't make, and we won't be able to until much later. We're kind of stuck to some degree. Beeswax lighting, advanced bee houses, yeah. Those would all be fun. The Glitter World tech could be nice. But I don't have a multi-analyzer, so I can't really get very far into it. Well, let's research the multi-analyzer anyway. And that way, once I get a hold of some gold, I'll um, be set to go. Waffle, seriously. Maybe Waffle needs some upgrades. That could actually be the case. That could actually definitely be the case. Let's make a drug lab, by the way. We don't have one yet, because I haven't made anything yet. Let's go ahead and let's make one. Drug lab. Can we make that out of mushrooms? We certainly can. Ooh, that's an expensive piece of kit. All right, let's reinstall this. I think this is going to be our hospital kind of area. But we'll put this here for right now. Thank you. And let's go ahead and let's build our drug lab out of, you know, mushrooms. Because reasons. I'll need to move these eventually, but it can go there for right now. Okay, so you're getting these things done. That's good. Um, I think animals will come and eat those, because of course they will. But let's set another growing zone up here. Just for, like, mushrooms, like, out here. And what kind of mushrooms do we want to grow? How long do these take? Okay, so all the ones that would require, um, that would give me something useful, um, take 60 days to grow. So go ahead and just plant the giant agrolux because they're kind of cool looking. And then we're going to need to start walling things in. Um, maybe I should leave room for another wind turbine, although I'm not going to need it. I'm not that far from geothermal. Well, I'll need the growing zone anyway. 18 by 7. Okay, so there. So I would want to put the walls here. Not like that this. Otherwise, you can't walk past it. And that's not what you want. And yes, I need to expand my kill box still. Um, 16 things at a time. I'm doing my best. And let's see here. I know I've got some other stuff being... Yep, okay, so some marble will be coming in, so let's go ahead. We'll just keep building out of marble. Since we don't have access to granite, it's about the best we can do. Alas. So just go ahead and work on that as you will. Actually, cancel this one. And do that one, because that's much closer then. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. We need someone to get that drug lab made. Yeah, your resistance is working its way down, bit by bit. Ever so slowly. Virgil, are you getting any better at this? No. You're making an attempt, and that's the important part. Okay, so, let's take a look at this here. So, yeah, these just need psychoid. Yeah, see, wake up is what requires neutroamine. That's fine. Um, I can't remember which of these is more efficient. But let's make... Yayo. Yes. Let's do that. And let me make sure, by the way, that everyone's set to no drugs. Yeah, I mean, that's not really going to help. But we can try. And we're just going to do this forever at the moment. Um... We'll take it to the best stockpile, any worker, 
And oh right, I need to um I need to fix these zones. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, well maybe I don't have to fix that one. But anyway, go ahead and do that. And then this whole area in here needs to be unroofed. So please don't put a roof on it. Thank you. And we're gonna need some shelving then to hold a whole bunch of this stuff. Um yeah, we could do that. We're doing okay on these. I'm trying to move things. I'm trying to move the breeding chambers around so that we're getting more interesting things. Let's see here. Um, we'll probably actually want to build a dedicated drug lab. I don't have one at the moment, obviously. So this has one of four stacks. So what we could do is we could go ahead. We could allow flake. And... Wake up and Yayo and Go Juice. All in there. And yeah, we'll do that. And that way we'll be able to keep track of it a little better. Failed obedience. I still can't believe we ended up with this thing. Like 17%. Like that is seriously impressive. Like, no joke. Like I am actually impressed with that, legit. So yeah. Okay, Waffle or whoever, I need you to carry some stuff in. Ooh, a new mutant bee. And this produces no more combinations. Okay, um... Okay. And what'd we get? Got this blue one, which is... Thought we already had Amalgam Queens. So what I need is I need some more Amalgam ones. So I'm just going to leave this there. I'm just going to leave this chamber here for the moment. Um, just try to ignore it. It's going to pop up the messages periodically, but I'm worried that if I take it down, I'll forget about it. Because that kind of thing happens a lot. So I want to try to avoid it. So if you could bring the marble in, please, guys. And then it can get caught up overnight. Our fleeing? Wait, what? Where are they, first of all? And why are you fleeing? I have no idea. Huh. I mean, we're not that bad at people. Come on. Oh, X is almost up to 8. So I went and I changed. Hold on a moment here. Let's wait till she clicks over to 10. Oh, okay. So I changed the animals to only be rideable by owner. I think that they're not having any time to haul because they're constantly being ridden from place to place. And although that's great in a lot of ways. Um, what I would really like is I would like them to, you know, be off and fetching things. Because we need things fetched. Many a thing. So many things fetched. Alright, go ahead and just take this wall down entirely. Thank you. I'm gonna get much more growing in here. I deleted the growing zone. I think it all got planted. Yeah. Yeah, they'll get, they'll, they'll get to it. They're good at that kind of a thing. Okay, and now I can change this into something more useful. And by more useful, I mean... Psychoid. A surgical supplier is coming by, huh? I don't think we'll be able to trade with them necessarily. Yeah, I know. I already have an orbital trade beacon. Um. Yeah. I'll have to think about how I want to bend the rules for these things that are little and not really worth much. You know, I think I'm going to do that. I just want to get rid of just a few little things. Just to kind of get them out of the way. Because they're taking up space and it's bothering me. And I don't want them to do that. Oh, we'll have to make our drugs are in the within range of an orbital trade beacon, won't we? Ah, okay. <gasps> X made it to eight. Hooray! Oh, thank God. I was worried that we were going to run out of medicine and die. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That uh, that was definitely that was definitely a concern in the back of my head. All right, so um, should we grow like tons of psychoid? We don't really need a lot of other stuff at the moment. I mean, what else could we be growing? Not much. I don't want to grow these things inside because they take forever. So let's set, let's actually, let's make a separate growing zone here. Because I still want to crank up a whole bunch of heal root. So let's go ahead and let's get that started. And yes, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Deal with it. And then we will just go ahead and expand this zone. And just make all the psychite we can at the moment. There. That's appropriately stupid looking, isn't it? I think so. 
Perfect. All right, carry on. So we're down to one component. That's pretty bad. Um, yeah, that's pretty bad. Where are some components? Man, I wish I could get that Hydra. I wish I could get the Inspirations. I miss having Mooney from the last run is who I miss. Where everyone is just constantly inspired by her. And it was super great. And I didn't realize how fantastic that was until suddenly I don't have her anymore. I mean, I recognize how fantastic it was, but I hadn't really fully appreciated her skill. Bandit Camp Quest. I don't have time. Healer Mech Serum. Nah, I'm busy. Sorry. Stuff to do. A Glitter World Trader. Oh, this will be interesting. We won't be able to afford anything, but I just kind of want to see what they have available. Pebble Mites, yeah. Ancient Spirit Wolves. Oh, I want one. I can't afford them, obviously. Oh, interesting. I just wanted to look through here. Agricultural Auxiliary AI. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they have gold. But there's no way I can afford 50 of it. Yeah, 827. Alright. Yeah. I don't know quite what we're going to do for gold. Like I said, I still have not really picked around carefully to see if there's any gold. There might be some in the middle of these little mountains. Um, I rather doubt it. But it is possible. But I'm probably going to have to buy it. And to buy it, I'm going to need to get my drugs going a lot harder. Oh my god, there's gold down here. <laughs> okay. Well. Alright, that's the thing that happened. Well, cool. Well, we'll be ready then by the time we get this uh, all researched. As Virgil plows the researcher. 20. That's impressive, man. That's really impressive. Okay, so we now have a plastic bee. And these are really fantastic because these produce um, plasteel at some point. Um, I do need some different bees. One thing that I actually don't have is I need some, I think, hybrid drones or something like that. So I am plonking... Sorry about that. I am plonking in... Um, a hybrid or something like that. Something to kind of get them going. Just so I've got a few more of the opposite type. You know, because you need both queens and drones, obviously. Um, the brood chambers do produce more drones than queens. So that will definitely, uh, you know, get, give us the supply that we need. Okay, so you guys are finally hauling some stuff. And yeah, see now fire is able to get things done. Because there are people not constantly riding it, him around. So that makes things a lot easier. So we'll get that worked on. Failed training again. Come on, you can do it. I have faith in you. Yeah, I need to figure out some more stacking possibilities here. Yeah. Well, we'll get to it. Okay, so one of the things that we're desperately in need of is some enhanced defenses. So I'm going to finally make this kill box a little more useful. Um, we need to get this rebuilt, we need to get some more traps set up, we need to just kind of do all kinds of things, so I'm hoping... Oh, what'd you get? Let's see what we got. Someone come pick it out, please. Because there are some particular bees that we need. Hey, there's a boar in here. Not for long. Wild Boar Revenge. Who's that? Oh, fire? Yeah. Yeah, not a whole lot of resistance there. So, I realize you're playing horseshoes. What I really need is I need you guys to construct my outdoors. Let's actually kick construction up a little higher. On a couple of you. Because I do need this taken care of. Major break risk. Wow, what's up with you? Hit without table? Well, that's depressing. And soaking wet, by the way, there's no way to fix that in vanilla. You just have to deal with it. Not hats, nothing. It just, you're just stuck with it. Unless you're underneath the roof. And obviously that's not a thing that I'm going to do. Okay, so what did we get? We got an amalgam queen. That's fine. What I need is drones, though. I'll have to check my notes and see which drone I need. At the moment, we'll just let these pile up a little bit. Our corn's actually doing pretty well, too. Um, Eden. You are hauling. Where are you? 
Okay, when you're done with that, like, come at least bring things over here. So we can get these walls built. Because we really do need this taken care of. I'm just going to constantly interrupt you. There we go. Um, so that you keep bringing the marble blocks out. And that will save a lot of time then for Kitch. Who will not have to do so. I guess that's a clever strategy. I don't know. There we go. And I can go ahead and... Well, I'll let you finish it. Thank you. Eight without table. Basically a war crime. A psychic ship. Oh, that's not good. We don't really have the tools to deal with the psychic ship. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's get this built as fast as possible then. And this needs to be home zone. Oh, this is not home zone. Haha. -ha. Just kidding. And this needs to not have any roofing in it either. Unfortunately. Okay. Well, we'd better make some chem fuel first of all. Um, I know I've got a generator here. Make it from organics. I guess it doesn't really matter what. Yeah, any random vegetables. Oh, I don't I don't have the stuff for this. I can't I don't have a machining table, I don't have a mortar. There's actually not even any point to doing this. We're going to have to hope that Eden's gun is sufficient to pull them around the corner into some traps. Yeah, there's no way we can even make mortars. Not a chance. Oh, man. That's not good. That's not good at all. And I built this stupid thing backwards. I can't believe it. I thought really carefully about it, and I built it backwards anyway. Well... Oh well. Because yeah, I do want them to have to come this way across. So I messed it up. I'll get it taken care of. We'll have to move it around once it's put together. I would do that right now, except that I need to utilize it very soon here. Because that psychic drone is going to create lots of problems for us. Okay, so let's start moving things around. So we can reinstall this here. We can reinstall this here. Um, build a copy or two, I guess. We may as well. You should be able to do that without standing on them. Um, and let's put the doors over here as well. Psychic ship. Alright. Okay, go ahead and do those, please. God, I wish they wouldn't walk on them. They don't have to. Okay, let's get the herbivores out of here. Actually, I see I missed that. Herbivores, shoo! We don't want you walking through our curl box. Off with you. Stay outside. Alright, so now all the rest of this can just be deconstructed. Okay. Not a problem. Deconstruct as such. Okay, and that will give us a lot more space here in terms of dealing with mechanoids. Um... I actually have no idea how long this recording is because I stopped my clock and I forgot to turn it back on. Item stash quest. Ooh. Six? Are you kidding me? For a three day round trip, a lot less than that if it's just someone surfing on. Oh my god. That is fantastic. That is really, really good. Here, deconstructing is easy. Why don't you help deconstruct? I don't even care if you do a bad job. Because that isn't actually a thing. It just affects your speed. And I just need this done. And we could probably use some more turrets too. And we could definitely use some more embrasures. Come back. I see you trying to escape. There's no escape. I recognize that you want to clean. But that's not what I need. I need you to take these walls down. I mean, I don't even have any EMP grenades. I don't even have any way to stop them. What would a machining table run me? Five components and I have 13. Well, maybe. Maybe. If I could at least build a couple of EMP grenades, that would be something. 
Okay, so what are EMP grenades run us? Six components, so we can make one. Okay, so who is my best? Let's see here. That's going to be smithing. That's going to be Eden. Yes. Yes. Okay. And wait, I have that set on one, right? Uh, this is smithing. Yep, that's Eden. Yeah, none of you are very good at this, but you can try. More to the point, you can try now, because it's the middle of the night. Which is good. Yeah, a few items to trade. You know, do you want to trade with them since you're right here? Here, you'll buy some of this stuff, actually. Go ahead and have that. 57. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't realize we'd actually gotten some drugs made. Actually, I don't think that we had. I think that those were, um... Picked up from raiders. Yeah, and I'll deal with the hybridization chambers and stuff in a little bit. I'm gonna have to pull my chart back out. Now, last time, Tandy made us just this amazingly beautiful illustrated chart of all the different bee combinations, and then Sarg promptly went and added more bees, and so I don't actually have a fully up-to-date list. So, I will... I'll figure it out at some point, somehow. Probably. Alright, so I forced poor Eden out of bed to finish up... Oh, a large meteorite. Oh, compacted steel. Oh, that's nice. Um, to finish up these EMP grenades. I don't know who's going to get them. Um, I'll have to think about who's going to be using those as a sidearm. And actually, on that kind of unresolved note, let's go and let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to have to open up this ship before the psychic drone comes up. Because I don't need things going mad. Because we have all these invincible creatures wandering around the map. I don't need people going crazy. I don't need any of that. So we're going to try to take care of that right away. So, as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.